All right, uh, let's look at the homework 12.3, uh, problem number three. All right, so we want to determine uh, these pairs of uh, vectors are orthogonal, uh, perpendicular, uh, parallel, or neither. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, so remember that law of cosines that we discussed in class, uh, it goes something like this, right? Um, vector A dot product with vector B is the magnitude of A times magnitude of B times uh, cosine of the angle in between, right? So since cosine of theta, if theta is 90 degrees, uh, so when they are perpendicular, uh, cosine is actually zero, so therefore, uh, uh, we know that the dot product is equal to zero. So uh, vectors are perpendicular if and only if the dot product equal to zero. So this is a good use of uh, dot product. And the second one is uh, if you have uh, uh, parallel vectors, then one has to be the constant multiple of the other one. All right, so let's look at part A, all right? So it uh, looks like uh, it's not a constant multiple of the other one, so it's going to be either orthogonal or, or neither. So let's compute the um, uh, dot product to see what we get. All right, so for part A, we do uh, A dot B, right? So this is going to be, right? I'm going to go ahead and do it. So negative 7 times uh, 6. So it's going to be negative uh, 42 plus all right, 5 times negative 8. So it's going to be negative uh, 40 plus all right, 7 times 3 is 21. All right. So you can easily see that this is going to be a very negative number. So we know that, that this is not equal to 0. All right. So therefore, it's not orthogonal, and we know that it's not parallel, so it's going to be neither. All right? So uh, let's look at part B. All right? Again, I'm going to do the uh, vector A dotted with uh, vector B. All right? So this is going to be uh, 6 times negative 3 would be negative 18 plus 6 times 3 is positive 18, right? This becomes 0, which means that they are perpendicular or orthogonal, right? And let's do part C, all right? So we're going to do again uh, a dot uh, vector b. So this is going to give us, all right? So you have a negative 1 times 6 is negative 6 plus, all right, 2 times 4 is positive 8, plus, uh, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Again, uh, this is actually equal to 0, so we know that uh, it is orthogonal, all right? And D, all right, so now uh, if you look at this one uh, here, uh, if you look at, uh, for, for example, uh, a2, uh, negative 12, right? So what you get is uh, if you multiply 8 by negative, uh, let's see, uh, 3 over 2, then you get negative 12. And if you multiply 8 by negative 3 over, uh, so, uh, 3 over 2, then you get negative 12. If you multiply negative 4 by negative 3 over 2, you're going to get the positive 6. So you can see that uh, here, vector b is actually uh, negative uh, 3 halves times vector a, right? So we know that uh, b is a constant multiple of vector a, so we know that uh, it's going to be parallel. So it's going to be neither orthogonal, orthogonal, parallel. So let's type it in. So it's a neither orthogonal, orthogonal, parallel. All right. So let's check the answer. 
right? Let's see. Submit for testing. All right, uh, I came back and we got uh, all parts correctly. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.